Okie dokie. So, we're starting today early. Uh, I'm like ready to go to bed and it's like five hours until the day, the next day even starts. Like, I'm super nervous about how weird it is that today went so quickly and easily and I'm, ready, I'm done so early, which has like never happened before. Uh... So I'm, I'm glad I made a manual save, because that means that if I made a horrible mistake, I could always go back and, you know, make better decisions or something, maybe. But here's an alternate read, though, potentially. Uh, we had characters suggesting that to, that the next day is going to be when everything goes to hell or something. The, the true, the big deal day, supposedly. Day 11, which is weird because you'd think it'd be day 12. Maybe day 12 is just like an epilogue or a resolution or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe the penultimate day is the day is the big bad day instead of the final one. Uh, I don't know. I just am concerned. So my alternate idea is, hey, maybe maybe that's why yesterday went so easily and I'm finishing so early is because they're giving me extra time to rest and prepare for the big bad day. And I have more chance to maybe, as I'm planning on doing right now, uh, finish all of my sleeping before the day even starts. That's my current hope. Uh, infection, hunger, exhaustion, immunity. Just pump up some stuff here. I can do I can do stuff that hurts me, and it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Immunity is capped out. I could- I could try to cut down infection more. If I have the right pills. Infection down to a third. I've almost killed myself, hooray! Cool, now we'll take some sleeping things. And we'll sleep. Uh, let's sleep until like midnight, right? Like about four hours? Should take it- should take me until the beginning of the next day, basically. My health is up, my exhaustion's down, my infection's good. Lorg. My hunger's still not amazing. Alright, so health is capped. Re reputation's mostly capped. I can't fix that by sleeping. <laughs> That's not how that works. Uh, immunity is high. Hunger, exhausted, in fact, yeah. I'll eat something real quick. Chomp. Chomp. And chomp. I haven't really had a, ch a lot of chances to trade nuts yet lately, have I? Uh, it is currently 2143. Blurg. I was in infection mode. Uh, should I be dumping more stuff in here? Where did my gun go? I'm straight up, like, not really sure. It weirds me out a little bit. I just had a pistol for a long time, and then at some point I didn't have a pistol anymore, and I don't really know when that happened. So I guess I'll start making my way towards the play. Since the play normally is ready to go. Let's see. Looks like an uninfected district. Cool. Let's go grab garbage and stuff like that. I'll head to the play. I should be arriving there around midnight or so or after it. So we should be good to go for the next day. And then I'll be really like having a nice head start on today. By the way, yes, in case you were wondering. Uh, yeah. I did realize later that I had slept until approximately 10 o'clock instead of oh, instead of midnight yeah whoops my bad also I've been hit by two infection angels on the way here because those assholes will come up behind you sometimes and that's just not even that's just mean the only way the main way to avoid them is to hear is to see them coming and then stop but if you don't know they're coming, then... The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. The day is over. Uh. Hello, weird, distressing thing. Let's see. I always have to remember there's, a, there's, a, there's two separate things that happens. One is at midnight the day changes over. But then two... Oh, there's a letter. Ugh. But two is that at approximately... 7 o'clock or something like that, or 11 o'clock? There's like a... An introduction for the day where they explain what might happen that day. 
It's like a weird multi-tier thing. Let's go see the mime performance. I'm doing okay-ish. I did I did drink another uh I drank another uh twi twirene ex extraction and then my immunity is down again because I got hit by a second angel. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah, the angels sneak up on you. If you trigger them, but you're not facing the direction they triggered from, they'll just run up to you, and then you hear, the, and you, there won't even be a visual feedback. You'll just hear the weird "quee woo" emergency sound thing happen, which in fa is how they tell you that you've already been hit by one, and it's too late. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. The law of gravity is tragically incompatible with dream catching. Illusions have to be let go of in good time. There is a tricky way to save the specular tower, but there will be casualties. What do you say? The law demands that we remain silent, as if there's nothing to save but this ridiculous tower. There is another tricky way. It allows for saving the town of men, but it also requires a sacrifice to be made. What do you say? The law is impartial. The choice is yours. Is there an alternative way to subvert your ridiculously unfair law? We're just doing our job. Why all the fuss? You've got time. Live some more. I definitely get the feeling that this game's particular take on the Plague Doctor mask has to be its single most iconic visual. <laughs> we find very f I did immediately latch onto it and make it the thumbnail of the series. I think I'll, I think the, the thumbnail will probably change for each campaign, but instead of using each of the three characters to ask the thumbnails, which is the natural thing to do, I think I'm going to use three different, like, performers or other str the other strange characters. I like the idea of using them. I probably use I'll probably use a play uh, an ex an executor, a mime, and a step person as my three thumbnails for the three campaigns. Partly because I'm I like their art better than the than the art for some of the OG characters or the main characters. Have I read that one yet? Yeah, we, we were in, we were in, yeah, that happened. Evening letter from the Inquisitor, day 10. Just to remind you, any news from Baruch yet? Any luck proving the mineral origins of the bacterium? Last time we spoke, Baruch did his best to assure me that the abattoir was clean of an infection. Tomorrow he's supposed to present me with evidence of that. As of now, I have no reason to suspect him of being short-sighted, let alone dishonest. If I understand him right, the character of the local soil renders geodesic reports unnecessary. Both the earth and the water here appear to be pure. We're gonna go with the water being pure? Nobody seemed to think of that. But what caused the outbreak to be, what what caused the outbreak in this case? I'd rather not recur to the carrier hypothesis. After all, we only have one day left. We can't we can't make up our minds even this late in what, what the origin of the disease is, let alone how to fight it. What a, we're having a hell of a time. I, uh... Throughout the campaign, I'm actually continually uncertain of even what the characters know at any given moment. As far as, like, what the source of the disease is, or can we cure it correctly, and so on. Uh, 
At one point, it was phrased as if getting infected was a death, was just a death sentence and you're doomed immediately and you will not be fixed. I think is what it was established like in day two or something. Uh, but we seem we seemingly have cures now. And does that mean that the original one was not true? Why were they so certain of that then? And every every single thing that we think we latch onto about what, what its origin is keeps looping back around and being proven false again. I'm trying to think about the, I mean, yeah, you you could. On some level, I assume it makes sense that you could have a soil-based disease. It's not anywhere near my field of expertise. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. But I, I do think of like stuff like, uh, I remember. I don't know if this was scientifically based or if it was just a science fiction scare concept. But there was the idea of like, what if you like drill into like frozen over areas of the planet and you unearth like an ancient, an ancient virus that spreads and wipes out humanity or something like that. Like those kinds of fears. I don't remember at all if those were actually scientifically based or not though, or if it was just nonsense that someone like, someone made up. Or, or somewhere in the middle, like Michael, like a Michael Crichton book maybe, which is a midpoint between sci-fi nonsense and science, which... I've never read Jurassic Park, but I have read Andromeda Strain, and I got a kick out of that. Uh, I'm just trying to think about whether or not they're going to be ancient. I mean, any, I mean, diseases are very often living things, and a living thing might be able to live underground and be unearthed in some way. But if that was the case, then yeah, the, then the, the, the idea that the water and the soil are pure would be kind of inaccurate, but we could just be not caught up on that either. Or something. That didn't act, did that actually give me something to do? Huh. I don't think that actually gives me an objective. All right. Uh, I might walk around. I might even sleep again. No, my exhaustion's not building up. Uh, I can go south to get a map at least to find out what today's bad news is like. Oh right, this was a disease area until a moment ago. But the moment when I was in that backyard of the church, uh, it, it switched to midnight. And we have that moment where the game practically freezes. Because it has to deal with the fact that it's loading an entire different world state. And one of that parts is that it has to swap out which areas are diseased and whatnot. So that area is now safe. Huh? Aww. Why? I like this place. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to save you, Park. I wasn't able to save you. Uh. Wow. They really do go for the most traverse locations. I'll talk to this guy, he'll give me a map. And if that doesn't pan out in some way, I guess I'll just start talk, uh, visiting random bound characters to see if they give me a quest. I'm just trying to get a, a, a head start before I have to wait for the letters to come in. But I don't know My if I can. Map, please. Thank you. Hmm. If only I knew before everything I've, I've learned now. Have you seen my father lately? No, I haven't. I should visit your father. Tell me whether you've seen him lately. Okay, so the park's... Okay. So the park's infected, and then everything to the north is infected. Oh, the cane area and the whole tower area and inquisitor area is all infected. Shit. Alright. Let's go visit his father to find out how that's going. Because he's asking about his father, and I find that potentially noteworthy. And then I'll probably pay a visit to the Inquisitor, just to try to visit today's- to find out if, if she gives me a quest today, because she's important. And then I'll probably make- I'll beeline through all of the bound I can find on my way to Block. That's his name, right? The, uh, general? Or the military leader guy? 
And I'll talk to him, because he's probably going to play a role on this final day. That where bad things happen, so maybe he'll have a quest for me. Just trying to be quite proactive. It's interesting that when you... I... I so consistently have tasks, and I'm so often behind schedule on dealing with said tasks, that like on a regular basis, like the moment that I don't have tasks, I'm actually like a little like unsure of myself and what to do in this game. Ah, Ogimski's sick. That's not nice. There are no living here. This place belongs to the dead. I know that. I've come to pay my respects to the dead. Oh, so he's dead dead. As- okay. You had an opportunity to stop this. So what? Nothing can be changed now. The inhabitant of this place is dead. Oh, fuck. Ah! Don't attack me through walls. Very rude. Ow. Ah, thing! Wow, my knife sucks. Also, I messed up- I messed that up pretty badly, didn't I? Well, shit. So, Gimski is dead, dead. Could have suspected that before, sure. I don't know if I'd been- it, it hadn't been confirmed yet, was it? It's just that was the nat- that was the logical conclusion of the whole turn him in scenario. And so we've confirmed that. His dad's dead. The son doesn't know, still. So he does- he really does not visit, either. Oh yeah, you got both. Thank you, sir. And you're usually good for a talk. What's the word on the street? Is no one prepping for the evacuation? It is the truth they say about the world transforming. Yes, sir. It will transform, surrounding our mortal coils, devouring by the soul to build a brave new world, all shimmering and gleaming, and will become the ground from which the joy will grow and bloom and fume its odor sweet. Hopefully you'll live to see it. Don't be too fast to bury yourself. No, we shall perish soon. We ragged freaks had it coming. There is no place for us in these new in the new worlds. We're obsolete. A mentality like this definitely spells doom. Oh boy. Well, howdy, it's the next day. The I have senior kinds have given up life and power. Georgi confirmed it. All that for Maria. I have studied the blueprints of the specular edifice. It's a very suspicious building, let me tell you. It's actually not a building at all. It's a machine. The only thing I cannot understand is how it is mounted. Its nature disallows it from being fixed in place. It works like a gyro. Indeed, a very spot-on description. What do you think about it? I'm slight- I feel slightly envious. Like me, its creator has tried to break through to where men are not allowed, but unlike me, he succeeded. I feel that the cause of the epidemic has something to do with it. I don't like the fact that solid ground supports construction like this despite the law of gravity. I want to know how they managed to mount it. By answering that question, we will found out. Found, find, we will find out where the plague came from. Are you sure? I have no doubt the polyhedron has nothing to do with the epidemic. It's a masterpiece. So what? It is indeed a masterpiece. It is entirely possible that humankind won't ever create anything to rival it. It's more than a masterpiece. It's a revolution. This construction is no, le no, no less a breakthrough than Starflight. I 
I believe they're incompatible, this edifice and the plague. The, the polyhedron had, has been reliably protecting everyone who tried to hide inside from the epidemic. Trust my guts, Bachelor. I want to know the truth. So do I, believe me. I am not positive it has caused the epidemic. It's just my presumption. But you cannot deny that disregarding this presumption would be an act of criminal negligence. Fine. I'll try to find the mind behind the blueprints. Premonition By the way, Bachelor... Have you, by any chance, heard the outrageous event that happened yesterday? In the bone steak lot? In the bone steak lot. Yes, someone tried to incite a riot. The military have exterminated an unarmed mob. A perfectly healthy mob. This is the event I'm talking about. And I know for sure who was behind it, because I know who turned out to be guilty of this horrible crime. Me. I was the one they framed. So who was behind it? The Canes, most likely. They have arranged this provocation and tied every loose end to me. As though it was I who's done it. They've done a splendid job. I couldn't have done better. That's because such things can only be done by a very special woman. It's about genetics as much as it is about skill. Maria? She is a witch. The Dark Mistress. Have you already heard about Nina in, Vic in Victoria? Ask around. Then you'll see who Maria strives to be. She will turn into a warlock queen and make the town bend before her tyranny. Like Nina before her, only even more frightening. It can be proven. How can you prove it? I am content with the accounts of two extremely reliable prosecutors. They know for sure that the yesterday's pictogram in the lot was created by Maria. The first is a man that has been selfishly, selflessly in love with Maria for a long time now, and has recently come to know some of her secret doings. Who is it? Ogimsky's son. The second is Maria's younger brother, little Casper, who also knows Maria's immediate plans better than anyone else. He is so terrified of them, he is ready to run to the ends of the earth. Damn, me dealing with the Ogimsky turned out to be so untimely. By the way, if you want to talk to this Casper boy, please hand this panacea over to him. This vial was brought to me by Burak yesterday. It's reliable. The boy will understand. Actually, after talking to him, so will you. Alright, I'll see to it. It's a bee in my bonnet, too. It's time to act. Show me the real cause of the catastrophe. There's little to no time left. We may not make it. Got another one. To add to the giant pile. It's, a, it's always a growing pile. Although I think this one's one I don't get to keep. Gotta be careful, this zone's all infected now. I think I'll take the tour of the Ogimskis if I can. I mean, the Canes. Are you alive? You're still here. I have a heartache. Alright. Just doing the rounds is what we're saying today. I always expect them just, just to blindside me with that damn angel. It is far easier to be wise for others than to be so for oneself. Maria is getting ready to become a mistress. Do you know about mistresses, Bachelor Dankovsky? Yes, I've heard about the mistresses. We're not sure if we ought to be happy or sad. The joy could not be greater if she were to become a mother. 
for today a wondrous creature will be born. But the sorrow is also great. Maria is leaving. We used to have a beloved daughter, and today we're going to lose her. You've written that the coming of a mistress will stop the pestilence. Why? It won't stop it. It will herald it. You will be the one to stop the pestilence, Bachelor Dankovsky. Your path and Maria's run parallel for now, and close to each other, too. Oh, one thing I know for sure. When a mistress comes, the fifth will be gone from our lives. The filth will be gone from our lives. They're incompatible. I want to see Maria. It's too late now. Maria is unconscious. Her latest fit came last night. She came too for a brief while, then fell back into the depths. She will wake up soon. And I believe my daughter will be able to rise from the depths to which she descended. Why did she summon me? My daughter had two final wishes. To talk to her mother, and to visit the other two chrysalis. She can do neither now. I don't think she will ever talk to her mother again. But she, but she must see the future mistresses. They must acknowledge her. Who are these future mistresses? They used to be three powers in our town. They may not exist anymore, but they have left offshoots. Two more Harrises will become mistresses when their time comes. One is Capella, Victoria's daughter. I don't know who the other one is. It may be Salbrova's successor, but it's not Clara. Clara is pure. The Sabrovs had no other successor. Why are you so sure it isn't Clara? Because Clara was here a while ago. She looked me in the eye, and I can tell good from evil, all right. No, she is not the mistress of Earth. She may very well be a true saint, but I can feel where the real mistress of the Earth is now. She's hiding somewhere in the termitary. Oh. Okay. It's the little girl in the termitary. Alright, is there something you want me to tell them? Someone needs to take up the symbols of succession from these chrysalis. They know what this is about because they can also feel this awakening. It is very much possible that Capella knows who has inherited the title of, Ka of Katerina, the usurping mistress of Earth. She was, after all, the leader of one of the powers while we were dead. Why are you asking me? Maria did. She specifically pointed out that she didn't want a stranger's hand to touch the rings that will forever adorn her body. This changes things. The commander will hesitate no longer. He'll act while he's still in control. Everything will be decided tomorrow. The black muzzles of the cannons ready to begin the bombardment. So this is what the dark void of death looks like. So the true nothingness, unlike true magic, can indeed be firmly grasped with a steel ring and one of a not particularly large caliber at that. Do you have the blueprints for the polyhedron? I've seen papers on the table over there. What? I already have the blueprints. Someone's tried to assure me that recently that such things cannot be grasped. Oh. Ask anyway? Let's ask. And my Andre. Rumor has it he's in danger. Quite probably. He's the type to get into trouble, you know. If so, then what are you waiting for? Win him back, help him, and he will do, and he will tell you something that will turn your worldview upside down. You won't need his blueprints afterwards. But I, I do, I have them already though, don't I? It's really weird that we're acting like I, didn't I already get them? I, right? I did, right? Didn't I, it, it's really weird how the dialogue's acting like I don't have it already. Um... Is he the only one that has the blueprints for the Tower's Foundation? He is, or perhaps he no longer has them either. Could someone else have them too? Isn't there a copy in your family archive? Do you know 
that your uncle has granted me access to it? I need my Andre. Even if there were a copy in our archive, you wouldn't get the blueprints now. But if you help Andre out, you'll see a different meaning to the lines and figures on those blueprints, and I will reward you. If that means anything to you at all, of course. Alright, I'll help Andre, Andre out. The commander will hesitate no longer. He'll act while he's still in control. 